I mean, it, 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 would it be fair, uh, uh, Alaji Sani, because if you're saying, uh, and I would like to get you straight, are you saying there was a better time on the PDP than to the APC for a lot of politicians who say, well, it was a sigh of relief? Well, at least in, 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 under, under PDP, we, 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 you could say that people were engaged. Nigerians were engaged. Even if that government had its own shortcomings in terms of corruption, how to manage corruption, that was the shortcoming of that government. But not as bad as we have in this case today. Professor if you Henry. talk of even, even, even the issue of insecurity, insecurity is more prevalent today than it, was, it used to be. Now you can't travel from one point of Nigeria to another without being afraid. You, know, you, you think uh, that Professor you, know, Turman, you, you are in your house, your you are not safe. Do you you agree, are on the, on the street, you are not safe. You are, you are not safe anywhere you are. So I think, I am not saying that the government we had under PDP is anything to go back to, to go back to no, but we need to have something better, which is why actually Democratic Party, my party right. is here to give you a credible alternative. <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> Uh, it's getting interesting, everyone. Uh, but, you know, uh, it is obvious that we cannot get everyone here into our studio. So we reach out to other Nigerians from across the country to get their own perspectives and opinion on the state of the na nation. Watch. When we started, I thought we were on the right track with uh, our president. Um, but uh, from the comments and um, statements around me um, I didn't go out much but I listened to news I listened to people around me and so and I believe that um, I am equally not satisfied with the way things are moving I don't know where the mistake comes from but Generally, we are not happy. I am not happy. If we are not happy, it means I am inclusive. Oh, well, we started with a change. I don't know whether we have made any change, whether there is any change in the government. But I believe that uh, if we have made mistakes and we have accepted our mistakes and we are willing to correct our mistakes, We'll start afresh. I am not thinking of any other change than that. Welcome back, everyone. We have representatives of government here. We have a minister. We have a president's advisor here. Unfortunately, or regrettably, we would have loved to have some other government representatives on this very panel, those of uh, whom have pulled out at some moment, a few hours before we started this program. So we will continue with the conversation now. Uh, let me quickly call back to uh, Professor Oyebody, or Professor Otomi. Otomi yeah. uh, prof <laughs> I saw that you wanted to react to perhaps what uh, like he was, uh, he was trying to, tra uh, to sell his... See, we, uh, our memories are very, very short. There was a time when we said anything but where we were. Yes. We got there. Every thinking Nigerian wanted the mess to stop in 2015. Have we moved as far as we should? Perhaps not. But unless we recall where we got to, we will not begin to be able to fix this problem. We are challenged, a fundamental challenge, about a political class. And she makes, makes that point very well. There is a fundamental flaw in the Nigerian political class. Indeed, our democracy has become a government of politicians, for politicians, by politicians. There was need to move things to the people. It's about service to the people. But things got that bad, and that's why we had the change that we had. So for you, APC template is still okay? The is basic what you're template... Is, is it the best template for now? Is that as, what you're saying? It's, it's as good as there can be. The question is whether it has been effectively implemented. That's a challenge with that. So are, are you disappointed? There are places where I'm extremely disappointed. There are places where I think some progress has taken place and I think that this work in progress needs to be accelerated. But to throw the baby out with the bathwater is to forget where we're coming from and we must never forget where we're coming from. 
Professor Akingabudi, when you hear about NYSE stipends, um, you know, as an academic, when you hear, you know, these are what NYSE people who are recently graduated are getting from the federal government, do you think that this is one of a uh, key points for, for the change mantra? Do you think this is what we should be talking about? Instead of just talking about NYSE graduates, talk about their teachers. <laughs> I mean, how, is there any professor in Nigeria that earns 500,000 per month? Very few. In fact, paradoxically, I'm retired. My PFA pays me more than the government used to pay me. Okay? So, uh, quite sincerely, the NYSC uh, should be put on the hot burner. Do we really need the NYSC? And if we do, should it be the same approach that we had? Should it not include some military service and all sort of things? Because the NYC has become so boring, mm. uh, and so many of the participants want out. So paying them 20,000 Naira and increasing it maybe to 30,000, is a drop in the bucket. So uh, but unfortunately, little thinking goes into things in this country. All right, uh, we will go to a break, but I would like Dr. Ezekwesili to uh, touch on this issue. The Not Too Young to Run bill is now at the front uh, burner uh, for, for all the national discourse. And the president did mention this morning that in the coming days, it will call together some Nigerians perhaps to sign that bill. What are your thoughts about this? Well, I think it's um, a step in the right direction. We must build an inclusive society we must not exclude people on the basis of gender or age. And so this is progressive. Um, I hope that uh, it would not be mere symbolism. We need to actually disrupt the political space of Nigeria so that we can re refresh it. What we have now is not going to lead us anywhere. I'm quite surprised that my brother, uh, Patu Tommy, has become part of this uh, very interesting, uh, you know, political context. Why you that, say disruption? What exactly do you mean? Disruption simply means that um, the era to play the old type of politics is over. We should just get rid of this. You know, frankly speaking, if I had my way, I would say to the existing political class, okay, take all the oil, create your own country, drink the oil. Let's carry on with building a very vibrant human capital that can take us to you know, some people where we will say go. you are part of the old well, you, well, I, or, I, well, the, well, or the, the well, present political elite. Well, you know, you, 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 not, not quite, not exactly so, because I haven't played the politics of Nigeria. I, I have been in governance process. But to a larger point for the young ones, today's rate of unemployment amongst them is indicative of the fact that change hasn't delivered. We need to take um, a break now. Okay. We need to take a break now. When we return, we'll be switching gears with a new set of panelists and a new focus, but still on the nation. <laughs>